Elgin teenager is being remembered this week. His family says he died from a very rare form of West Nile virus. The 13 year old's family is speaking out, hoping to get the word out about the importance of wearing mosquito repellent. Fox 7's Casey Claiborne joins us live from Dell Children's Medical Center with the story tonight. Casey. Mike and Rebecca, 13 year old Cody Hopkins' life was cut very short. He died Sunday here at Dell Children's. Hopkins' family says he got sick at the end of September, and doctors told them he had a very rare form of West Nile. This picture of 13 year old Cody Hopkins is a pretty good example of everything he loved. We rodeo, Cody rode bulls, he played football. He wrote, we have horses, he rides horses. Cody's grandmother, Rosalie Hopkins, says her grandson didn't live life in bubble wrap. He was very active. As much as Cody was loved, it wasn't enough protection. Hopkins says it was a mosquito that took her grandson's life. According to the family, the 13-year-old aspiring bull rider got sick at the end of September. He was diagnosed with the very rare West Nile encephalitis, which caused him to lose motor skills and speech. Cody was treated at Dell Children's Hospital, but we asked internal medicine doctor Adam Britton with St. David's about West Nile in general. He says the virus usually goes away on its own. Only 20% of people who get it see symptoms. Of those 20%, uh, they can be serious. About 1% do develop neurologic symptoms, things like encephalitis, um, which is a global encephalopathy. Patients will get confused. The children, for instance, would get confused. They'd be less interactive. At McDade Junior High Tuesday morning, friends and family gathered inside to remember Hopkins. It was awesome. It was overwhelming to, to see the love that people have for Cody and to know how many lives that Cody's touched. The Hopkins family wants to spread the word, protect your children from mosquitoes. Use all the repellent you can on your children. Don't take any chances. Mm -hmm. Really protect them. So I would recommend using insect repellent containing DEET and also uh, um, as important, if not more importantly, uh, skin covering. Uh, cover the legs, cover the arms if you can. Uh, stay away from freestanding water. Cody's mom, Lacey, says her son's spirit lives on. She believes this is his calling. He would do anything in this world to save another kid mm -hmm. and then taking that, that spinal fluid and, and doing science on it. We're hoping that's one step closer to finding a vaccination for people mm -hmm. for um, because you never would think that it was it was going to be one little bug to take out my boy's life. By the way, the state health department confirms they are investigating a West Nile case, possible West Nile case out of Bastrop County. Of course, that is most likely this case. This Saturday, there will be a celebration of Cody's life at the Lost Pines Cowboy Church in Elgin. On, and on Sunday, Cody's ashes will be put on the back of a bull for one last ride. That's at the Circleville auction, uh, Circleville store in Taylor. Uh, there will also be a silent auction that day. Friends of the family say if you'd like to donate, you can take items to the Circleville store that is in Taylor on Highway 95.